This is Daily Armenia, CivilNet's daily news digest. Here's what you need to know today. Four men have been arrested in Yerevan, accused of attempting politically motivated bomb attacks against officials affiliated with Armenia's ruling civil contract party. The country's investigative authorities said this week there were no injuries. The first attempted attack took place last month when an improvised explosive device went off near the home of Gagik Melkonyan, a civil contract lawmaker and outspoken Russia critic. Two more similar devices were said to have been planted later in the month, but did not detonate. Those were found outside offices affiliated with civil contract and with another ruling party lawmaker, Gurgen Arsenyan. Only one of those arrested has been named so far, Gagik Sarkisyan, who is a member of the opposition Armenian Revolutionary Federation, widely known as the Dasnak Shuchun. The Dasnak Shuchun has not yet commented on the matter, while Sarkisyan's lawyer told Radio Azat Shuchun, RFERL's Armenian service, that his client denies the accusations. An official working at Yerevan City Hall was arrested and charged with bribery yesterday, along with four other individuals, after a raid by law enforcement officers at the department that issues construction permits. None have been identified publicly, and no further details have been given. A spokesman for Armenia's anti-corruption agency told Radio Azad Uchun that the unnamed official from the mayor's office had been charged with receiving a bribe. Mayor Tigran Avinian, a close ally to Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan, has so far not commented on the arrest. Yerevan's Department of Agriculture and Urban Development, which allocates municipal land and authorizes construction on it, has been said to be struggling to keep up with the timely processing of construction applications amid a building boom across the city. Yesterday's raid comes after the authorities last month detained then-economy minister Vahan Keropian, four of his subordinates, and three current and former executives at a prominent tech company as part of a separate corruption probe. They have all rejected the charges against them. There is still no concrete progress on resolving the main issues preventing Armenia and Azerbaijan from signing a normalization agreement, Armenia's top diplomat indicated today. We have been able to make progress on some sections of the draft treaty, but there are no tangible results on the fundamental issues yet. We are still negotiating, Foreign Minister Ararat Mirzoyan told lawmakers. He reiterated that Armenia's guiding principle is that both countries should recognize each other's territorial integrity based on Soviet-era administrative boundaries. Continuing, Mirzoyan confirmed talks are ongoing with Turkey to implement a deal reached in July 2022 to partially open that country's long-closed border with Armenia. He did not provide any additional details. The diplomat's comments came just one day after Azerbaijan's president said the region is closer to peace than ever before, while again placing blame on his decision to use force against Nagorno-Karabakh in 2020 and 2023 squarely on Pashinyan's shoulders. Moreover, Ilham Aliyev again falsely claimed there were no civilian casualties in Azerbaijan's lightning offensive against Nagorno-Karabakh last year, which led to the collapse of the local government and the ethnic cleansing of Nagorno-Karabakh's Armenians. Senior Research Fellow at APRI Armenia, Leonid Nersisian, joined us to analyze key developments in Armenia's strategic partnerships and defense procurements, including the expanding cooperation with France and potential additions like India and Greece. Also discussed are Armenia's efforts to strengthen its armed forces through balanced multilateral relationships and what it may mean for regional stability. Find a link to this video in the description or on our website. And finally, the civil net number of the day is 39. That's the runtime in minutes of The Last Repair Shop, the winner of the Oscar for Documentary Short Film at Sunday's Academy Awards. The film profiles the repair technicians at the Los Angeles Unified School District who maintain the students' musical instruments, including an Armenian, Steve Bagmanian. A new CivilNet article delves into his story featured in the film of escaping the Baku pogroms, which led him to a new life giving the gift of music. And as always, please follow CivilNet for the latest news and independent reporting from our contributors on the ground here in Armenia.